you got a snowy face. You're a good boy. Off leash completely for his potty breaks lately. We go out and he does his zoomies. And he's such a good boy, aren't you? Come on. You ready? Wait. Okay. Okay. <laughs> good job. Should we show off let me hear some of your skills? Oh, we might get to because somebody's coming out of the hot in the hallway. Leave it. Wanna heal? I gotta carry this, don't I? I should have got him to pick it up because he's doing that for me now too. Sorry for the crazy camera motion right now. I apologize. Alright, Murphy. Yep, tight. You know what, I'm going to turn this around. It's just easier to show what he's doing, hopefully. Murphy, go. Okay. Good boy. Uh -uh. Good boy. Oh, we're going to turn this. It wasn't working very well. Okay, center. 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 Good. Forward. Forward. <laughs> okay, out. That wasn't a very good view. I'm going to have right, to... We're going to see if that'll hold. Let's see if this works a little bit better. Wait. Wait. Uh, oh, oh, we knocked the camera over your butt head. <laughs> leave it. No, leave it. Okay, heal. stay. That was a test, an unexpected one. That's perfect. I love when those things happen. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, heel. Heel. Good boy. Heel. <laughs> you can't really see you. Good boy. I didn't, whoops, I didn't think this through. Alright, let's see. Ah, leave it. Leave it. Ah, ah, come here. Come here. Come here. Ready? Yeah. Stay. Now, I'm gonna have to move the camera for this because you want a better view. Uh -uh. No. Okay. <laughs> Trial and error here. Murphy, pick up your harness. No, get. Come here. He doesn't know what I want because I'm using this thing and talking too much. Help. Murphy, help. Yes. Oh, in my hand. No, help. Try again. Good boy. Get, no, you'll have to give it to me. We've moved on from keys to picking up his own harness. Good boy, thank you. Sit. Good boy. Now what happens if I drop my keys way over? Stay. 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 Good boy, stay. Good boy. 
Murphy, good boy. I didn't release you, but I'll take it. Uh-uh, no. Can you help? Here. Oh, you're supposed to bring him to me, though. We're working on distance. He was, he's, master, he's mastered picking them up. Help. And I have to still have my hand sort of one foot away. Oh, you gonna try again? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you're stepping on it, though. Should we try that again? No, leave it, leave it. Thank you, good boy. Thank you so much, you're such a big help. Sit. Yes, good boy. All right, tight. And he is to come and heal in tight when he's off leash. <laughs> but now he's getting all silly and trying to eat my coat. Stop. Good boy. Heal. That's the tight. That's it. That's it. That's it. His normal heel is more of just loose leash. Come around. There we go. That's a boy. Sit. Down. Sit. Sit. Yes, good boy. So, <laughs> I don't know how much that really showed, but that's some of the really amazing progress we're making. I'm not... Come, heel. I'm not actually taking him outside on the leash anymore. <laughs> and I do not, don't have him on camera. I'm really not working. I need to get a GoPro. Um, instead, he comes off leash. And actually, I'll show you. Good boy. So he does have an e-collar on. And then I got a new one. It's much, much, much better. I'm going to do a demo sort of with that to explain it. And it is working wonders, 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 wonders. Um, so right now he's waiting patiently. And watch when I open the door and I say, wait. Okay. Good boy. Wait. Good boy, okay. And he knows where he's got to go. In your yard. Good boy. Now he just went to the bathroom, so I'm taking him back out. This is an extra. It's okay. Zoom. He doesn't feel like zoom. It's really cold today, so he hasn't done much zooming. But when I tell him zoom, then he knows he's free and he can act like a fool, like you've seen in other videos. Um, he's getting an extra little outside trip before we even went in just to keep things different I like to mix up the routine because otherwise I don't know if he'll only um, behave the way that there you go zoom I don't know if he'll be able to behave in all situations I used to only do this when there's like literally nobody around um, I wouldn't let him off until it was clear but I've just been letting it happen. He's not barking at everything that goes by anymore. He's appropriately greeting when I tell him he can, which is a good start at ignoring people. Um, he's doing so well, it's amazing. Just letting him have a little chomp on that stick that he found there. And then I'll show you how quick he is. Like he knows he's not supposed to go in the tree. Ah, ah, out of the tree. Murphy, out of the tree. Murphy, out. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you found another stick. Come here. Murphy, come. Come. All the Come. Come. You can have the stick. Come here. Murphy, come. Good boy. You get a treat for that. And I'm also phasing out reward quite a bit, except for like in really like difficult situations. Okay, zoom. <laughs> he has a track. Sometimes he tries to push his boundaries. Whoa, don't hit me. <laughs> um, but he's been really good about coming back into his boundary when I call him. He knows that this, this area you're seeing here is what I call your yard, as well as this over here is part of yard 
So if he's out of those boundaries, he's told, ah, ah, good boy. He's doing really well because, I mean, ultimately he's going to have to be off leash at times in public because part of my medical condition can involve passing out. So obviously I need to be able to drop the leash and rely on him to do his tasking. I can't have him like tied to me. So in the last, I'd say three weeks or so, he's come leaps and bounds with his training, like with his reachly active reach leash reactivity is pretty much gone but he's also off leash quite a lot i don't take my eye off him mind you because we have down down here down the bottom i'll show you that in a minute it's a really really busy street so if he was to go back there and get off leash i would be scared at this point maybe a year from now when he's got a really solid recall but like i can go to we've got a dumpster dumpster way down there where I dump his poop bags and quite often I'll <laughs> he's just gone off get in your yard good boy you stay in your yard he's deciding that he's wanting that to be part of the yard too and I might just cave a little bit but the problem with that <laughs> I don't know if you saw that leap but that was epic the problem with this here is that this is a very heavily wooded area where there's a lot a lot a lot of coyotes and I would be terrified if he ever got away in there and somehow got stuck in there so I, I don't really want him in there oh buddy that hurt didn't it stay out of the trees but so yeah that's so this is his sort of free reign He's choking on snow. Come on. Come. Murphy, come. What are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> oh, I'm not where he can get to me. So I he's like, what? Come? How do I come? Come on. <laughs> come. Murphy, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Come here. Let's go show them the hill. Go show them the hill. <laughs> it's okay. Go zoomies. So, this road down here is quite busy sometimes. This time of day, not so much. But people really come flying down there. It's like, I, I don't ever want to chance him getting loose down there and running into that road there because it's just scary. But um, the e collar is really helping. It sends him a beep and a, and a little stim. I tested it on my face and I literally cannot feel the sensation whatsoever. So, sorry, I'm, that cut out. I am not shocking. I am not torturing him. He's, there's never any pain involved. I, because I'm just not okay with that. I wasn't okay with that other collar just because it was like a sharp shock and like a static shock, I guess. But I'm not okay with that. What I'm using now is it's called the educator. It has a hundred levels of, of stimulation. He's on a seven. I can't feel it. Um, there's a boosted level where if, if it's an emergency and I press press this uh, this red button if it was an emergency and it jumps the, the uh, it's a five point increase. And that I could feel, but like just like a light little like a you know, it just felt like this against against my face. So it's literally just like a tap on the shoulder to get his attention when he can't hear me or he's like too excited and not in control of himself sort of deal and just kind of nudges him. And it's been amazing. I'm against aversive training methods, to be clear. Um, it's been fully positive and reward-based training for a year now. And we made a lot of progress that way. I got my base, my bond, and the like, the basic obedience stuff. This now is just for safety while we are practicing off leash and giving him a little bit of free time and exercise because I can't walk him 
very far and very often just because of things. Um, he gets out for twice a week. He gets out for a good, like fast paced hour walk, like rain or shine. Um, and in between that, I do little jaunts down to the tennis court that you've seen in some of the other videos, but he needs to be, you know, be able to do this and not having a fenced in area. It's been hard. So I love that he can do this and he clearly loves the snow and yeah, he loves his collar. Like he's excited when I put his collar on. He knows that that means good things are about to happen. Like, oh, I'm going to get to be free. Are y'all done? Are you cold? Are you cold? Oh, hi. Get out of the tree, you. Murphy, get out of there. Good boy. Pushing your limits out of the garden. <laughs> he wants to steal sticks. Come on. Murphy, come. Come, good boy, good boy. You did wonderful. Okay, can you sit now so I can turn this off? Sit, hey, sit. Good boy, say goodbye to your, ah, ah, sit. Say goodbye to your fans, you five. Yeah.